Gemini, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 14th to the 20th of June 2021. No particular subject, we'll take an issue. Something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future, and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Gemini, so do check out your replacement, your moon, rising, Venus, any stellium you have in your chart. Um, once again, thank you for the continued support, the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, all helps the channel grow, it's much appreciated. And the description box has all the information you need, details of private reads, links to Patreon for full access to all extended, individual access through Vimeo, and uh, Instagram links to see photos of the spread. Happy birthday to the Geminis for the final week of uh, Gemini season. Hope you all had good birthdays, or will have good birthdays. Right. Gem, four more. The five of wands, okay, conflict. Conflict, but protected from it. I kind of feel like whatever conflict is going around you, if you're safe from it there's like these four that are battling they're getting all intertwined um but you're okay there so it might not be you that's in the sort of conflict and um, maybe you're in the periphery okay something you're aware of something you're not aware of recent past immediate future Potential outcome. Okay. The Seven of Discs, the Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups. I kind of feel like it. it there's come a time now to it's like your hard work's gonna pay off there could be a change of direction um, in regards to work I almost feel like that you know you've, you're gonna be get given the sword here and I'm picturing the sword as in just a pair of garden clippers where you can cut away for the fruit now it's like it's time it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor it's like your hard work's paying off so you know time to celebrate you know happiness six of cups nostalgia you know doing things that make you happy so five of ones like i said there could be a lot of drama going on around you I kind of feel like you're protected from it. What you're aware of is the Knight of Discs. The Knight of Discs can be a career change here. I almost feel like the direction that you're currently in is not where you're going to be going. You know, this person's facing a different way from the bull. Pardon me. Um, what you're not aware of is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups could be you. I mean, I know you're an air sign, but... Um, and this could be someone just very, very intuitive. And again, don't get caught up in, uh, uh, in gender here. Uh, the Queen of Cups is just somebody caring, somebody nurturing, but somebody very, very empathic as well as um, you know, powerfully psychic or at least um, high intuitive abilities. In the recent past, we have death. This is an end. This is a shedding of the skin, a rebirth of some kind kind of clearing the path for some of you there could be an option to to retire if that is uh, if that is the case for you you know it's kind of like time to take the fruit you know this could be a pension um, and that puts you in a new direction the immediate future is the knight of cups this could be an opportunity to do that um, for others of you, there could be just an opportunity to, to change direction in career. The five of wands here suggests, you know, there might be a lot of drama at work. Um, 
a lot of stuff going around you that you're not really interested in. Uh, and the outcome is the Seven of Cups. Now Seven of Cups can be a card of confusion, but I just think this is a card of looking at your options. It's seeing what you want to do, what you, to, what you want to devote your time to, seeing which direction you want to go, because obviously you're not going in that direction at the moment. By uh, you know, looking in, a, in in the opposite way. If this is pertaining to um, to a love situation, don't rush into anything. I'm kind of looking at the uh, the ast the asteroid here, meaning it's going to don't make a harsh, quick decision, rash decision, because uh, there's there's more options out there. Okay. Interesting. Right, let's clarify. Could be seen 13 13 a lot. Or 12 12. 77. Gotta love the synchronicities. Yeah, I kind of feel like there's just something changing direction here. You know, if we look at the two knights, this one's going this way, the, the bull is heading this way for the time being, but something's caught your attention and now you're looking this way. This is as if you're seeing different options with the Seven of Cups at the end. Because whatever it is, the situation you're in, I kind of feel like you're done with it. Um, it's time to end that situation. Like I say, if it is a case of um, of a love situation, you know what you're not aware of is maybe you're at the Queen of Cups level, and whatever's coming in with an offer at the moment is only at a Knight level. Um, so check out your options. Three more. The Ancestor card, the world, and the Nine of Wands, Page of Pentacles. For some of you, there's going to be spiritual travel in the future. The world can indicate travel. The Nine of Wands is the moon in Sagittarius, so that's the high, it's the high priestess in Temperance. Sagittarius rules spiritual travel and spiritual study with the Page of Pentacles here. So, you could be seeing, well, we've got every seven here. Seven, 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 seven. Uh, it's a very universal number. And it's a kind of look, you know, sevens are about look, change of look. I kind of feel like you're going to have a change of look here, Gemini. A change of look that promotes like a exit strategy from something, whether that's away from a relationship, away from a job situation, away from family. Um, there's an opportunity that's coming here. The wheel's turning. If you haven't guessed, the wheel is here. So we've got the five of wands with the seven of wands. Again, I kind of feel like you, you, your vibration is too high for your um, current surroundings. I feel. You know, and again, like I said, you're protected from from above. I feel there's an element of protection. There's an element of um, yeah, 
keep raising your vibration. I've got three tens here. You can be seeing ten, 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 or ten, ten a lot. What you're aware of is the Knight of Discs with the Ten of Pentacles. For, for some of you, this could definitely be retirement of some kind. Um, but I almost feel like it's your destiny to um, to achieve Ten of Pentacles energy. And the Ten of Pentacles energy can be, you know, it can be rich, but you know, rich is a is a different thing. I almost. Um, People's concepts of rich is, is it varies. I always remember the, reading that rich dad poor dad comment where he was distinguishing the difference between rich and, and wealthy. Um, you know, a million dollars might sound rich, but if your outgoings are a hundred thousand a month, you're only ten months wealthy. You know, there's like this stem for different concept of what you consider, you know, rich. Knowledge is rich, knowledge is power. Um, but I kind of feel like it's your destiny to be comfortable, whoever I'm resonating with here. It's your destiny to feel comfort. What you're not aware of is the Queen of Cups with the Ten of Wands. This could be in regards to this energy here. In the sense of, especially if you are an empath, you take on other people's energies. You may feel achy um, for no reason. You're actually taking on other people's energy. So there's a need to protect yourself, protect your energies. Um, you know, be intentional with your showering, you know, pitch, picture of the water running off the negative energy and um, set your intentions in the morning, carry obsidian, um, black tourmaline, you know, protective stones, um, because if you are an empath, you, you absorb it, you know. In the recent past is the death with the Eight of Swords, so this is an end to feeling stuck an end to feeling confined, an end to imprisonment, uh, with a, you know, in, 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 the, in, the, in the mental space. The immediate future we have the Knight of Cups, this opportunity, uh, or you know, somebody coming in quickly, is with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like, it's time. It's time for the wheel to spin. It's time for your fortune, it's time for your luck. And then the outcome, we have the Seven of Cups with the Seven of Swords. For me, this is exit strategy. This is planning your exit. Whether that means you're planning an exit from a job, whether that means you're planning an exit from a relationship where you're feeling like you're on guard all the time, uh, whether that's an exit strategy for how you're going to do this uh, traveling, how you're going to do this studying. This is planning. Planning your next steps because the wheel has turned. I like it, Jim. So in the extended, we're gonna look at, we'll look at what's coming in. We'll look at the universe. You know, this is Jupiter. We'll look at what Jupiter is bringing, bringing some sort of expansion somewhere. Uh, so we'll look at it from that point of view, and dive into the astrology, okay? Um, you could have in your chart, I'll be dealing with, we've got Sagittarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, we've got wands, we've got swords, we've got cups and we've got pentacles, everybody's here, but those are the standouts. Okay, if you enjoy me in the extended, fantastic, if not, gem, look after yourselves, uh, let me know if it resonates, and um, you know, the luck is turning here, um, so time to plan, time to plan for the future. And don't take any action now while there's retrogrades. You know, just do the planning aspects now. You know, especially with Mercury. Um, and then we'll go from there. Take care.